Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Cancer December 29, 2022. Today's energies encourage your imagination and need for inspiration. You might feel moved by the idea that you're helping and supporting others through your work or practical advice. Your intuition for work, research, discrepancies, and health matters is powerful. A creative approach to problems can lead to new insight and unusual but effective solutions. Today is strong for tackling problems or projects that have been difficult to deal with in the past, but it's equally powerful for bonding with others. A Venus-Neptune transit influencing the day softens the rough edges. Today's strength is generosity of spirit, and it can benefit your relationships in beautiful ways. Aim to reduce stress since the day is good for reminding you of the value of occasionally easing off the pedal. One of the most important and karmic cycles of your life has been facing you since 2020. This is because Saturn, our great taskmaster planet, has been glaring at you from across the sky in your solar seventh house of relationships. This will cast you beneath his shadow until March 2023. Presently, he is operating at full strength because he is in direct motion. If you've been in any weak or rocky partnerships, they have likely ended, shattered apart like the straw that broke the camel's back. If you have been holding on to relationships that need to go, you still may part ways by next spring. Yet, the best part about this is that it is teaching you what you truly deserve when you unite with someone. Any commitments that you forge now could stand the test of time. Do not let money slip through your fingers. Now that the moon is in elusive Pisces, you may feel more introspective as you consider your financial status. Your debts, assets, investments, and more will come to mind as you reflect on your professional status. Instead of wallowing in pity or sadness if your finances are not where they should be, you could use this intuitive lunar energy to clear up any nuances. Money might be slipping through your fingers, but you could find a way to clear this up if you are willing to look into your money matters. Having the moon in your financial sector in the heart of an alignment between Neptune and the asteroid Juno is doing more than just ensuring you are emotionally and intuitively engaged. With your financial instincts sharp you are more alert to a melding of your financial dreams and a sense of resolve and just how empowering this is. Your ability to instigate new things is well known. With the predominant energy today, you are especially tuned into a new and improved way of doing things. You will feel inspired to regenerate the old and find a fresh new way to direct your energies. To enhance this process, pay special attention to your diet. Fresh fruits and vegetables and low caffeine intake are highly recommended, as is substituting fish for red meat. If you're involved in a relationship that is causing you more grief than it's worth the energy of this day can help you to bring it to an end. It certainly isn't an easy thing to deal with at any time, but this truly can be the best essence to work under if end it you must. Be sure that you want out of the relationship because you truly believe it to be harmful to you, rather than because you are fearful of commitment. Be honest with yourself before acting. While there are more planets in your busy work sector than in any other area of your chart, Mercury has come to a standstill ahead of his retrograde turn here tomorrow. This won't put the brakes on things completely, but this is slowing things down enough to take away any urgency while in the process giving Venus a chance to catch up. It is tomorrow, just as Mercury turns retrograde that he will align with Venus, putting heart and mind on the same page just as the past, present and future overlap. With Venus leaving next week but Mercury here until February and Pluto until March, time is on your side. While Saturn will spend the rest of the year alone in your relationship sector it will be a different story just days later. As a three-year relationship boot camp draws to a close Venus, the planet of love is just days away from returning to start reaping the benefits. Whatever relationship journey the last three years have taken you on, there are exciting times ahead. Our eyes in the sky. You have a lot to do before 2023 starts, so make sure all your devices are charged up when the moon enters your technology zone on Tuesday. 
You don't want to miss a hot invite or juicy gossip because your phone is dead. Use this 3-in-1 charging station so you don't waste energy on multiple outlets. However, the end of the year could have you feeling stuck in a rut when Mercury goes retrograde in your expansion zone on Thursday. When travel plans get cancelled and you're stuck at home, use this side quest deck to help you get moving on new adventures. Spend the last day of 2022 doing some self-care when the moon enters your sign on Saturday. You want to say goodbye to this year looking stunning. Put on this vitamin C serum to start your year on a glowing note. We might encounter frustrations around being misunderstood, so try not to rush through explaining yourself if you feel the need to clarify a situation. If you can manage it, take the time to meditate before beginning your day, to help you find your center and reconnect to your breath. Unfortunately, things will get a bit heavier this afternoon as the Pisces moon squares Mars retrograde. There could be major issues around communication in relationships in both seen and unseen ways. Watch out for gaslighting behaviors, and don't let anyone talk you out of what you're feeling. If you aren't able to find a resolution with your partner, postpone important conversations until tomorrow. This tricky cosmic climate won't necessarily come across in sinister ways, but it would be wise to proceed with caution concerning people or situations that seem too good to be true. The evening brings a lot of emotional uncertainty with it, so if you feel like unplugging for a bit, that's totally acceptable. The energy here is messy and could lead to us getting caught up in social media, so take a step back if you feel yourself spiraling in those realms. In the morning, the Pisces moon sextals the Capricorn sun, offering a pleasant start to our day. Here, intuition and logic play nicely together, and imagination steers our choices. Yet, ultimately, rationality has the final say, providing a series of checks and balances to keep us from following a mirage. With our feet on the ground but our heads in the clouds, we can use this time to manifest creative ambitions. This is an ideal aspect for harmonious socializing and relationship building. Following this, Juno, the asteroid of fidelity, aligns with Neptune in Pisces, inspiring us to idealize our commitments. We devote ourselves to the ones we love, extending extra compassion to our partners, seeing the good and ignoring their human shortcomings. This transit can provide a healing influence, allowing petty differences to be forgotten. If maintaining relationships has felt like a chore lately, this aspect will stop us from going through the motions. We'll remember what we saw in others at the Union's inception. However, Juno-Neptune can also cause legitimate grievances to be forgotten, driving us to ignore problems that require serious work to overcome. Be sure not to place your partner so high on a pedestal that you cannot see the situation for what it is. If we are single, this can be a time of committing to another without much forethought, convinced that magic has brought you together, that your meeting was fated. This may be true, but fate often has a way of playing tricks. The nature of the commitment you make to each other may contain hidden clauses that will have to be negotiated for this union to be successful.